everybody, Spencer here. I am back, baby. Uh, I, again, I guess. Back. Yeah. Hmm. So where have I been? Uh, I've had some other stuff going on and sort of put Daily Spencer on the back burner. Uh, but I miss it, so I'm going to try and get back to it. I, I, I don't know if the Daily Spencer is going to stay daily. I don't know if I'm gonna keep calling it the Daily Spencer or am I gonna call it, I don't know, the Spencer? That sounds pretty lame. I don't know. Um, hopefully there will be some exciting news in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I've been working on a couple of other projects. So, uh, I don't know, look, look forward to that, I guess, if you're the kind of person that uh, looks forward to things. Today I am playing Section 8 Prejudice. It came out uh, last week, I guess, on Steam. It's been out on the 360 for a while before that and it's a good popcorn game and, and I'll, I'll get into what a popcorn game is here in a minute um, what I've been playing really pretty hard the last week and a half or so is uh, The Witcher uh, which is a an RPG really kind of slow paced deliberate game and uh, I, I'm, I'm playing it hopefully to finish it before The Witcher 2 releases later this month. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm probably going to be disappointed by it at this point, honestly. Anyway, The Witcher is a great game. I'm really enjoying it. There's a lot to like about it. Uh, not for everybody, but, but it is for me. Um, but it is very long. It is very involved. It requires a significant time sink in order to not just play but to get the most out of there there's some parts that I could easily skip um, you know side quests that kind of thing although side quests in the Witcher aren't really the same thing as in most games but anyway every once in a while I need a break from that kind of game and that's when I turn to a popcorn game and and hence I'm playing section 8 prejudice they're good games for taking a break from something more involved and for example here, here's some of my uh, sort of prerequisites for something to be called a popcorn game. It has to be fast. It has to, not only does it have to play fast, it has to be easy to get into. That means a minimum amount of uh, sort of talking in the game. Like, I don't need a whole bunch of setup. I just want to, you know, start up a game and play. It also needs to be easy to get out of, which means generally uh, a game will take up a discrete amount of time and, and then I can quit without feeling like I'm abandoning anything. So typically for me, a popcorn game is going to be a multiplayer shooter of some kind, although not all multiplayer shooters qualify. Team Fortress 2, for example, that one, I don't know, that one seems to take a long time to get into for me. Uh, you know, not just the extraordinary loading times in it, but, you know, getting into the swing of things and, and actually playing requires a... a substantial investment of time some other multiplayer shooters that that obviously don't that, that don't count for one reason or another I wanted Unreal Tournament 3 to be one of them at the time but the server browser was just so lousy when it came out and, and maybe I'm remembering it wrong but I remember the server browser being pretty lousy um, it also has to be a game that either I'm pretty good at already or a game that has a fairly low learning curve and the reason for that is pretty simple. I'm, I'm in it to, you know, have a, a little bit of fun all at once. I'm not in it to learn something. You know, if, if I'm having to learn trajectories or, you know, lead times or, you know, if I'm, if I'm having to... I'm making stuff up now. But if I'm having to learn stuff, I'm not getting that immediate sense of fun. And that's what I'm looking for in a popcorn game. And Section 8, it seems to fulfill those requirements, and it, it's actually pretty fun in addition. I don't know how long I'm going to play it, but if you're looking for that kind of, you know, quick, instant action kind of game, Section 8's pretty good. Give it a shot. I'm going to try and keep things going this week at least while I figure out uh, what we're going to do with the Daily Spencer and all that stuff. So, I will see you guys tomorrow, and uh, uh, let me know what your popcorn games are. Do you... Do you even like this concept? Maybe it's a stupid concept. I don't know. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.